So now let's go and see what happens after bishop c4. I would just mention that after knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, knight b6, it's a clear transposition because after bishop c4, knight b6, bishop b3, we play c4, bishop c2, and we play knight c6. The only small difference can be that white has here a queen e2 move, but we react d5, and after d4, we just simply take, take, and play g6. Difference here is if our pawn was on e6, it could have been a little better for white. But as we know, after knight f3, we play bishop f5 or bishop g4, and this pawn on e5 would be weak. So after we play bishop g7, queen c7, e6, and exchanging this bishop for a knight, white will have some problems. Usually, in this type of position, the pos pawn on e6 or e7 matters a lot. And if we're allowed to exchange our bishop on c8, so-called French bad bishop, we're doing fine. So, instead of playing queen e2, white here plays knight f3. And here we have two absolutely different options. One is a little bit risky, but very fascinating variations. So we play queen c7. And after queen e2, there is a move g5 wonderful one and i've played several games in this variation just the problem is white is not gonna take on g5 right now because we would take queen e5 and you know exchanging a pawn from a side of the board with the central one is to black's favor and i would mostly prefer to take with the knight to be honest because it's not very simple for white to react here or white is not going to play h3, because we would play bishop g7, and anyway we will capture this pawn, so h3 would be a loss of tempo. Only problem for us here is a knight a3 move, because after g4, knight b5, we have to play queen b8, and after knight h4, we are not able to capture with the queen, because now we would have been a pawn up in an endgame, because white takes, takes, and knight c7 check. So our problem is we have to take with the knight and after a castle, d6 and the 4 white has a strong initiative because the lines in the center would be open after a 4 and it's not very simple to hold for a black. Maybe this g5 is a good move to play in a blitz or rapid because your opponent should have really good preparation to get some advantage for white. But instead of playing g queen c7 and g5 there is a very safe move, playing d6, we are just trying to exchange the advanced pawn on e5 and open the file for our pieces in the center. So white has to take, we take with definitely with the queen. After a castle, we play bishop g4, because we are trying to play e6 and we don't want to leave our bishop on c8. So now white would have 3 moves, h3, queen e2, rook e1. So let's go ahead and start from rookie one. 